Hello, welcome to my website, chrisabdelsil.com. In this short video, I will be explaining some basic SEO concepts. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. I'm going to basically be touching the why, the what, and the how. Why do we care about SEO? Because if we do SEO right, we will get more organic traffic, more free traffic coming to our website, and we can be more successful that way. Another reason is a side effect is we might be building a better site, providing a better user experience for people visiting our website. What is SEO? SEO is basically the art of guessing what search engines want are looking for and trying to provide that to the search engine. So it's a mixture of common sense and technical items. Uh, we're basically trying to reverse engineer to rank sites higher on the search results. How do we do SEO? There's uh, basically two items, the common sense items and the technical items. The common sense items are things to try to make your site look better, look more legit, more official, and look more pleasant. Things like an about page, a contact form, a privacy policy page, or a disclosure page if it's applicable to what you do. You want to be upfront with the people coming to your site so they know what you're about. Doing a nice navigation structure, make it easy for people to navigate around and a pleasant look and feel. Two important things. One, think carefully of what keywords you want to rank high for. There's no point in ranking high for a keyword, working hard to rank high on keywords you don't really care about or you can't really make money easily off of. So you need to make sure you are targeting the right keywords if you're targeting keywords. Take your time and study on the web the competition, think about what people would search for who are looking for what you're providing. The second point is always key in everything you do nearly. Before you become good at something, you need to look at the competition. Always look at the competition. It's free information. You can try to guess the hundreds of hours of work they spent. You can try to look at it, spend a few hours and gain some of their knowledge. Always look at your competition. Who's ranking high on the current keywords and study those sites. For example, in Google, you can go and type info, column, and a URL, a domain name, or a full page URL. Google will return four pieces of information about that URL, and each one can be very interesting for you to analyze, especially the links one. So now let's touch on the technical points. Here on this little board, I put some of the technical points you might want to do. There's full books on SEO, and remember, you can search Anything I talk about, you can ask on my website or you can search the web for more details about that topic. The first thing you want to be careful when you do basic SEO is the URL, the address people will type to find your web page. That's a very good opportunity to get the keywords you want in that URL. It's very important for the search engines. Two, the backlinks. That's key. Backlink is a link that's pointing to your page. Google came up with that concept. Basically, a backlink is like a vote for your web page. The more backlinks you get, the more people are voting for your page, and that means your page is more important, more relevant. Now, what's also important is the text people use in their backlink. The anchor tag text is important, so uh, you want them to be diverse, and you want them to be on topic. Now, another, another important point to note here on the backlinks is not all backlinks are equal. For example, a backlink from the BBC is going to be very valuable. It might be worth 20 backlinks from these smaller, less important sites. The quality of the backlink is important, the quantity of the backlink is important, and the anchor tax of the backlink is important. So less important things, but things to try to develop as a natural skill, are the title of your page and the titles on your page need to try to target those keywords or be pretty closely related to the domain uh, you're targeting. Uh, the content and meta tags, so the meta tags, you might want to search that on Google, the keywords meta tag and the description meta tag uh, can also be important. So you don't want to forget those if you have the time. And then when you write content on your website, you want to try to be careful with the density. You want to try to have at least the keyword you're looking for in there multiple times. The exact number will vary depending on the size of your article. Up to seven times might not be unreasonable if it makes sense. You don't want to deform your article. Always look at the competition here too. Look at the articles that are ranking high. Look at what they have. Look at the density of the keywords. It's pretty tedious, but if you really want to uh, compete with other websites, 
you really have to look at what they're doing. The last point I have here is domain name. It, you shouldn't really pick a domain name to rank high. It, sh it should be the topic. It should be something easy for people to remember. It should be your brand because you might be with that for years. So you want to pick a domain name that fits what you're doing. But just so you know, there's a little loophole right now on Google where the domain name is really favored a lot. People are buying domain names with the keywords they want to rank high on and they're making it to the first page just nearly by doing that. Google is probably going to close that loophole uh, in the next few months. Remember that everything you do, it needs to look natural. It needs to look like it's organic. Don't force things so all the same back links have the same anchor tag. You're repeating the same expression, you know, 20 times in your article. Try to look natural. But remember, always have SEO in the back of your mind when you build a website. It can be very, very important for the future of your website. So I hope this helps. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.